just finished uh, stuck on this wall and painting it, so I'm going to show you how I did it. Well, today's job we're going to repair this stucco wall. And uh, right here, all the stucco fell off and there's a crack in this wall. This used to be an old wall from a, a school back into the 20s and 30s. It burnt down in the 50s. There's a picture of the old wall right there. And they just stuckled over it. No wire or anything, but it, you know, you don't have to use wire all the time. But when you got a patch like this and you got a crack like that, we're going to use wire. So I get there and I, I look in here and there is wire in it. See the wire? I guess the wire rotted away and it broke off, so I was wrong about that. But I'm going to use this as a starter strip for stucco. The reason I'm doing that is because in the winter time, uh, this concrete will raise up in Pennsylvania, sometimes up to an inch, so I'm going to keep it up there a little bit. So now I got my starter strip. I just put it on a, a couple pieces of stucco to keep it up. And I use what you call uh, a drill bit right here. It's 1 8 times 3. And I get myself a, a steel nail and a washer. And I drill into here like this. Keep my finger there. The steel nail and the washer, and tap it in. So I put the wire on. It doesn't really matter how you put the wire on. It's only wire. The only thing it does is hold the cement. A lot of people say, "Well, you got to do it this way and that way." Nah, it doesn't matter. The only thing the wire does is hold the cement. That's all. The only thing you want to make sure is you you overlap it. going to say to me, Mike, how often do you put these uh, nails in? See where it's bumpy? I usually put them in about six, seven inches apart, sometimes eight, or anywhere that it's bumpy. See that? I want to fix that. So anywhere it's bumpy. So I'm using a rapid set mortar mix. Then I get my sprayer with the water in it. I wet it up pretty good, especially where she's gonna end up up there. Try to get her way up in there. thing about cement dolls, it dries so fast, you don't have to worry about putting a second coat on. You put it on it a couple minutes later. Now I'm just trying to get a sponge and use a sponge float, but just go over the side and kind of blend it in like that. Now, I want to get screen up in here because I never get the cement up in there. And it's all crumbling. This is a patch. Anytime you do a patch, a patch is a patch. And then try to get it in there. Throw it in. Same thing, just put it in there. Straighten it out. sit for a while. And get your sponge. Just kind of smooth it out a little bit and you got to keep coming back and checking it. You know what I mean? So right here we have a little crack. Just gonna wet it and get some of this goulash stuff. You got 
That's it. We don't want to go crazy with it. I want to show the stucco. That's it. Sometimes you got a little place that juts out. Don't forget, we're only doing patches here. Wet it first. We're gonna splash it. Make it rough a little bit. Then we're gonna make this a little bit soupier. So we got this pretty soupy. See that how soupy it is? You gotta practice with it. That's why I'm gonna do this just on the side to show. Then you get your brush. The old timers used to use sticks. And then what you want to do, get yourself a piece of plywood or something, stick the brush in there and practice. See that? Sometimes you got to wait till it's a little thicker. That's how you do stucco. Practice before you do something on your steps first. Get the picture. So then after you're doing that, just get the trowel. Right here in certain spots, flatten it out. That out makes it look like the other stuff. Same thing over the patches. See that? So this is it. We patched all the wall up and now we're just going to paint it. And then I just went and got myself some stucco paint. And I'm painting. 